In this video, we are going to take a look at the Rent Cafe portal, particularly the landlord portal. We're going to start with navigating to that portal. And in our instance, the URL address to get to that portal is onlineportal.snbrha.org. So you would put that in the address field of any browser, hit enter. And you should be brought to the home page of the Rent Cafe portal. Go to the upper right hand corner and click on the landlord login link. Here you can go ahead and log in. So you can put in your email address that you registered with, put in your password. Click on the login button. And if you log in successfully, You'll be brought to the My Home Page landing page, which is going to just be the main page that you get to when you are inside of the portal. So here you have different navigation options. You have the main menu up on the top. You have the tiles here in the main body of the web page, the home page. Then you've got quick links over here where you can quickly jump around the portal. So here you have the main menu and these items here basically mimic what you have here um, in the main part of the web page where you have the tiles. Here under the settings menu, you can change your email or change your password. You can log out of the Rent Cafe system, or you can click on the home button, which will bring you back to the home page anywhere you are at when you're inside the portal. Let's go ahead and take a look at agency details. We click on that. You're going to get the agency details of your agency. In this case, it is the Southern Nevada Regional Housing Authority. You have the address information. You have uh, an email address. You have a phone number. You can even email us by clicking on the send email button. Let's go hit the home button and go back to the home page. Click on the My Profile tile. Here you may update your profile information. Click on the Edit Profile button. Then you may update any piece of information that you see here on your personal profile. Then you would click on the Update Profile button. Let's go back to the home page. Here you have the Unit Info tile. Click on that to view your unit information. You can filter by bedroom number, excuse me, the number of bedrooms. You can filter by unit status. And finally, you can do a text search by entering text within this particular search box. Okay. Try that again. Okay. Then you can also download to Excel. Let's go to the home page. Go to caseworker info. Okay, so at this time the caseworker info tile is not working. It's probably because this is an old record and there's no caseworker on file. So let's go ahead and go to documents. Documents, 
here you'll be able to view any documents that SNRHA staff has uploaded to Rent Cafe to make available to you. You may also upload your documents that you want to uh, allow SNRHA staff to view. So you can have your own, uh, own documents that you can upload to Rent Cafe, and this will make um, it available for SNRHA, I'm sorry, SNRHA staff to view. Let's go ahead and click on the upload button. We can choose files. We can just for instance, upload this document. We can label it and then upload it. And here is the document that is available for SNRHA staff. You can also view, um, you can view it also, and you can delete it. Okay, let's go to the home page. The upload documents tile is exactly the same thing. You'll have the option to um, view documents that uh, SNRHA staff has made available to you, and you can also upload documents for them to view as well. Let's click on the home page. Unit inspections. These are inspections that have been either performed and I believe scheduled for your units. They can be, they're usually annual inspections. And if you had any inspections that were scheduled or that were already provided, they would end up right here in the unit inspections grid. You have the option to filter by result type. And you can also download to Excel. Let's go to the home page. Here you can view your ledger by clicking on the My Ledger tile. You can filter by current period. You can sort by posted date, tenant name, payment for, check date, and invoice number. You can sort by descending or ascending. And you can also um, search by check number or adjustment number. Let's click on the go button to perform the search and pull up your ledger. You can also do a text search as well. Okay. Let's go back to the home page. Let's take a look at Unit holds and abatements. Here you have under the unit holds and abatements tile your unit holds and abatements. You can search by or you can filter by the scheduled date. You can also search by text and you can also download to Excel. Let's go to the home page. This is your EFT setup. Okay, if you had uh, a bank account set up, you would see it listed here. If you need to add a bank account, you can click on the Add Bank Account button, or you can put in your banking information here. Click the Save button, and you will have added your banking information to the EFT setup grid. Let's go home. Okay, so what we want to do next is the rent increase request. Okay, so in order to do that, um, we'll click on the rent increase request tile, and this will start the process of the request. Next thing we want to do is click on the add request button. Okay, and this will launch the process. So here we have all the steps for the rent increase submission. Above here will give us the progress. 
and in the main part of the page will give us all the tasks that we need to complete in order to go to the next task. Okay, so the first step is to select the preferred language. We'll click on the next button. Here we want to provide the unit selection. So in this case, for the purpose of this exercise, we're gonna select one and we're going to click on the next button. Okay, this step is showing us the unit details. So these are the unit details of the unit that we selected. Okay, we'll click on next. Okay, so here what we wanna do is enter in the proposed rent. So I'll enter in 196. We'll choose a date. We'll just say October the 1st. And here we're going to enter in the reason for the rent increase. So we can either enter in or select area price increase or lease renewal. So in this case, we're going to click on area price increased. And if we choose that, we'll get to enter in, <clears throat> sorry, we're gonna enter in comparable unit details. Um, if we wanted to select lease renewal, um, it will basically skip the comparables. Okay, but what we want to do is, just for the purpose of this exercise, we'll do the area price increased. We'll click on next. Okay, so this question here under comparable unit details, um, it's asking, would you like to submit details on unassisted comparable units? So here we're going to click on yes. Okay, the next question says, select the number of unassisted comparable units. So you get to select from one to three. So what we're gonna do is click on one for the purposes of this exercise. Okay, then we'll enter in the comparable units. So I'm just gonna make this up. Okay, this is the comparable unit information. We'll say 1100 feet. Number of bedrooms is two, number of bathrooms is one. And we'll put in the amenities, backyard and garage, we'll say that. We'll put in the monthly rent of the comparable. So I'll just say $200 and we'll click on next. Here under the documents step, we're going to upload the required documents that we need to um, finish this submission. So it's asking us to upload a copy of the rent increase notice and also the proof of service or delivery of the rent increase notice. Okay, let's go ahead and upload those documents. We'll click on choose files there. After we click on the upload button, we can go ahead and select both of those documents at the same time. And we'll click on the open button. Here we'll uh, enter in the description of those documents. So here we have the notice and proof of delivery. Okay. Then we'll upload it. Okay. Click on that. And we should have both of them in there, okay? And we do have both, okay? Go ahead and close that tab. Go back to the portal. So we're done here, so we'll click on Next. Then here, this is the last step, we want to sign and submit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the Click Here to Sign button. We will say, um, we'll cl um, click the agree and continue button. Then we're going to sign. We're gonna enter in our signature here where it says um, create your signature uh, under signature. Then we wanna put in our initials here as well. Okay. When we're done, we're gonna click on save and continue. And this is docu the document that we need to digitally sign. So we'll go to the bottom of the document and click on sign. And then we'll click on date. 
then we'll click on sign and complete. Once I do that, it will basically officially complete the process of uh, the request. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Um, and that is it. The process is done. Once you see that big green check mark, that means the process for submitting a rent increase is finished. Okay, well, that is it for this particular uh, uh, function, the rent increase function. Okay, and that is it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do after that is to wait for SNR HA staff to go ahead and notify us of what the next step is to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and we'll click on the home uh, menu item. And we'll get back to the main page. And let's go to the settings menu item and go to change email. This is where you would change your email address. Put in your, put in your new email address, confirm the new email address. Enter in your password and then click on the update email address. You can also change your password by going to the settings menu item, then click on password. Here you can update your password, put in your current password, your new password, and then confirm your new password and click on the update password. You can also click out of the um, you can also log out of the system by clicking on the log out um, menu item. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So this concludes our training session. Have a good day.